Welcome back to This or That with neither Kobe nor Jat. <laughs> it's two people with Z's randomly at the end of their name. How's it going, Treats? Good, good. That was a banger series. Six games, game five delivered. Some good stuff. Absolutely great stuff. Let's get into it. It's presented by Verizon. You know how the show works, right? I have seen it, yes. I have seen it. Okay, great. So then, first question. Is there a Berserker Player of the Week bias? Yes, other pros have been robbed. No, he's just that good. This one is easy. No, he's just that good. I mean, he's just the GOAT. He's, he's just honestly a step ahead of everyone. I think even on most roles, not only AD carry, he's insane. Yeah, I think like MVP, I was talking to Sven about this, about like you can debate meta-wise yeah. who gets MVP, but I think skill-wise he is clearly maybe the best player in the LCS, and that's why he tends to pick these up, especially in postseason where he doesn't seem to make too many mistakes. Agreed. That's an easy one. All right, hopefully these get a little bit harder because uh, that's, that's the easiest one. All right, RNRG overperforming in playoffs, finally playing to their potential. Oh, that's a hard one. Um... It also got a lot harder because they got 0-3 by, by C9. Yeah, if they won a few games there, you would definitely say that they are playing to their potential. I, I wouldn't say that they're overperforming though, so I'd probably say it's more likely that they're playing to their potential. But I think we'll have to see on the next series if this is true or not, because I think it's, it's a bit shaky. Yeah, I lean that way because they have made it to the top half of the LCS in three straight regular seasons. It was about time they won a playoff series that was a little contentious. Oh, and, oh. Uh, you know, I think it's, it says that they are, that is their level. It's just yeah. sometimes they also dip below their level against teams that are below their level. They play to the enemy's level. Yeah, we two zero them, so. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, you guys are great, though. Best ball lane in the LCS. Uh, all right, Tarek is good or a Core JJ special? That's, it's this not is, good. This is your answer. I'm just going to copy it's your homework. It's not good. It's a Core JJ special. And I think he even he overpicks it sometimes. I mean, he's really good on Tarek, but I think he just thinks the jump's fun sometimes, probably. Once Maybe they're asking about arena mode. They didn't clarify. This is from a if Discord. It's arena, it's OP, for sure. Sleeper OP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is by Discord, by the way. Some people have some questions. So go ahead and join the LCS Discord if you ever want to try and get on this or that. We'll move around. Right along, which is Team Liquid's playoff MVP? Ooh. Ooh, ooh, this is hard. I mean, AP had really clutch late games. I think his lane was still this or that. Uh, I think Pioshek, pretty, pretty solid. Summit in most of the games also was really good. I would definitely say after today's series, Pioshek was the clear, oh. clear contender for playoffs MVP so far for TL. Aside from that Ash game, though, Yawn was pretty good as well. True. Core JJ. They feel like a really... all of them up Yeah, here. They're, they're a really well-balanced team. Let's get two more monitors so we can debate <laughs> all five. Of the playoffs thus far, I think it, it is Summit. He's gotten a couple of the player of the series. And even in this one, he did play yeah. very well, especially in game five on the Gwen. Yeah, he popped off, actually. Yeah. True. All right, we're going with Summit. We're, we're agreeing a lot, I just realized. I'll try and argue with you about something. Which finals <laughs> competitor would you rather have as a party member in Baldur's Gate 3? I haven't you... played it yet. I've seen a bit of it. Uh, I'm so, just rating the cosplays here. I'll, I'll give you some help, which is like, the characters in this game have their own personalities, and they will sometimes just decide things kind of for you. Okay. Like, two of my party members tried to kill each other at night one time. So, oh. for that reason, I actually don't want Fudge. He has too loud of a personality. When I'm playing, I don't want someone in my party who, like, overpowers my decisions. I see. So, okay. Maybe then Summit would be a good choice. He looks like kind of like a model in that picture, I'm not gonna lie. Summit would probably be pretty chill to play with. He yeah. probably is just gonna he's try He's just and gonna be on his island doing Dude, something. He's, he's a barbarian just bonking on things. He doesn't yeah. want to think too hard, just roll some dice. Simon. I'll go Dokla though. I bet he'd be pretty good at uh, the role play side of it, so. Okay. I'll go Dokla, you go Summit there. Disagreement, look. Perfect. Who faces Cloud9 on Sunday? Ooh. Ooh. This is a spicy one, because I feel like Energy didn't really give everything they had against C9. I feel like they're not happy with their series. Meanwhile, TL won three games and two of their drafts I thought were losing, so they kind of overperformed according to my expectations. I would, I think I'd have to say TL though, because I think they played a really solid GG as well and they actually came out on top. It's hard to know because Team Liquid, I agree with what APA said, leveled up a lot over the course of their loser's sure. bracket run. Like, he yeah. got slammed by Palafox on both sides of Jace Trist. I just don't think they're going to do that again and they have like his Nico comps and these other things. On the flip side for energy, they did also beat Golden Guardians. They beat yeah. them 3-1, technically more convincing, That's but true. then they got slammed by C9. How much do you read into a C9 slam, though? I mean, yeah, C9 definitely slammed them, but also TL has an extra series now, and they're coming in fresh to the next one, so I think they might have momentum on their side as well, so I would, I would definitely go TL still. All right, I'm gonna go NRG. I think uh, the C9 noise is just everyone loses to C9. Even the team <laughs> that's supposed to beat C9 will sometimes lose, but that's gonna do it for us on this or that. Send us your suggestions in the LCS Discord. Now, it's time to close out the show.